I bought this mystery pack off of eBay because the listing said that I would not be disappointed and that there is a lot of silver inside. Now, so you know, I paid $50 for the mystery pack and a $5 shipping charge, so $55 all in, and I wanted to take the challenge and see if they were right. Will I be disappointed or won't I be? And how much silver is actually inside? So we're gonna find out together. So let's get into it. And by the way, I did already open it, so I kind of saw what was inside a little bit, but not exactly. And that's because I open all of my packages before I bring them home from the post office just to make sure there's nothing fishy inside so like i said let's do it but before we do don't forget to like and subscribe and help us continue to grow and additionally guys it's almost the end of the year sd bullion is giving away another monster box of silver eagles 2023s if you guys want your chance there's not much time left so make sure you click the link in the description below and get your free entry today and thank you to sd bullion for sponsoring my channel all right, let's go ahead and get these out. Now, what I see is a bag of coins and there's a big plastic slab at the bottom as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. And this first thing on top is interesting. It's not actually a coin, but remember these a few years ago, the 50th anniversary of the Big Mac and they did one of these for like each decade. Well, look at that. We have ourselves a Big Mac coin. I have not seen these in a couple of years. Uh, this one is 98 to 2008. I have no idea what these are worth, so I'm going to look them up on eBay right now. All right, well, these things are all over the place as far as what people are asking. But the ones that actually sold are between 4 and $7. So we're going to say the low end on this, $5, because it's not actually a coin. But hey, 5 bucks, 7 bucks, maybe if we get lucky. Uh, we're going to call it 5 but that's really cool. I did not expect something like that. All right, here we go. Next up. All right, well, this one's not super exciting. We have ourselves a 2016 D Sacagawea. And, you know, it is it is definitely mint condition, as it says on the holder right here. But, I mean, these really don't have much value. You can actually get these pretty easily for face value. Uh, in this condition, if you were to actually walk into a coin shop and buy it, you would probably have to pay $1.50 to $2 just because they have to charge to carry inventory. But, uh, you know, I'm going to give this a $1.50 value today, so we'll call that a buck fifty. Um, but yeah, it's really not worth much. All right, next up. All right, we have ourselves a wheat scent 1956 D. So yes, it is a wheat scent. And on the reverse, you can see it's nice and red. So this one's BU, guys. These go around at two dollars a piece if you were to buy these at retail uh, for the you know the later years in BU red. Really nice though. I do like it. I'm gonna call that two dollars today. Let me know if I undervalued that down below, but I believe that's about right for those. Next up, we have, all right, a 1938S uncirculated, it says, uh, close to red brown. Um, it does look to be uncirculated, but it is definitely uh, close to red brown also. So it is what they say. Uh, $1.25 is probably too much for this. Like I said, I only gave $2 to so that BU red one. Granted, it's a 38S. So let's say it's a dollar because it is a 38S and it is uncirculated. Uh, so yeah, we'll say a dollar on that one. Not too bad. No silver yet, though. However, our next coin is silver. So here's our first silver coin. Again, this listing said lots of silver. So we have a 1957 Roosevelt dime. Uh, it is damaged, is it? This looks like it looks like it's dented a little bit. All right, so 57 Roosevelt dime, uh, you know, not bad, not bad. Uh, it is silver, but that's all it is. Uh, today, 20 times face is around what 90% is going for, so we'll call that two bucks. Next up, we have an 1897 Barber dime. Now this thing is heavily circulated, let's see. So on the reverse, we still have a full rim. It hasn't really worn into the field yet. On the obverse, all right, the rim is wearing into the field right here around United States. So in this condition, I mean, they go for more than silver. I'd say this is probably a $3 coin, uh, you know, just because it's a barber. But it is our second silver coin. They said lots of silver, so we'll take it. All right, next up, we have a 1936 D Buffalo Nickel. Actually, it's an S. I had to grab a loop and take a look closer. So we have a 36S Buffalo, but it looks like it has some corrosion. Guys, you can find these at coin shops all the time. You, they put them in bins. You can siphon through them and pick out the ones you want for like 50 cents a piece. That's all I'm going to give that, 50 cents. I don't think it's worth any more than that, but hey, you know what? We'll take it. All right, so next up, we have our next silver coin. So this one is a 1968 40% Kennedy. So today, the melt value on these, I want to say, is around $3.50. If you bought it at retail at a coin shop, you might pay 4 bucks. 
but yeah it's got a little bit of toning on it it's nice overall but i mean it's not going to be worth more than silver so this one right here we're going to say four dollars at retail and not bad all right next up we have an indian head scent 1908 uh-oh yeah, I didn't know. I did not think we'd get a 1908S in a $50 mystery pack that's supposed to have a lot of silver, especially. Um, but yeah, 1908 Indian head scent, uh, no letters of liberty left. So this is definitely heavily circulated. You know, these right here, same thing, guys. If it were an 08S, it'd be worth a lot of money, 50, 60 bucks in this grade probably. But an 08P, this would be in another bin, just like that Buffalo nickel that we got earlier where you would uh, be able to siphon them out for like 50 cents a piece. So we'll say 50 cents on our Indian head scent. All right, next up we have, this is a Canadian quarter and it is a 1960. All right, so these are 80% silver. And today I actually don't know the exact silver melt value for these, but that data is actually listed on my silver mat here. So 1920 to 67, 80% quarter. 0.1499 ounces so we have about 1.5 ounces of silver here silver today is 24 so that is 240 per tenth so this has around three dollars and 60 cents worth of silver in it if you were to buy this at retail i'd say it's probably going to be around four bucks total maybe maybe not even that 375 i mean foreign silver doesn't really carry much of a premium so let's call this three seven let's call it four dollars just to be generous towards the pack and uh yeah four dollars right there but so far we have one two three four silver coins next up um i don't get this one because that is 1964 and that is a 41 so neither of these have silver in them and 64 if you guys have ever coin roll hunted nickels i mean that's about as common as it gets yeah i don't see anything special here 64 d yeah uh guys i don't get these uh this is pocket change 10 cents i mean i'm sorry i can't I can't give any more value than 10 cents to that. All right, so that's everything that was in the baggie, but we do have a slab here and it does actually have some silver in it. So take a look. This, America Fights for Freedom Collection World War II. So there is a lot of silver in this, in this little thing here. Uh, so we have a Walking Liberty half dollar, 1943, 1944 Washington quarter, 1944 Mercury dime, 1943 Philly war nickel, and a steel scent that is definitely, it looks like it was re and now is corroding. So these sets right here, guys, I'll tell you, don't ever pay more for these. These these little holders right here are not worth anything. So we're going to value these at the silver weight of the coins. So the war nickel has 0 0.05626 ounces of silver. So if we take spot today of 24 times 0 0.05626, the nickel has $1.35 worth of silver in it. Now we did 90%, so 24 times 0.715, we have 17 to 16 per dollar, and then we have 50, 75, 85 cents, so times 0.85, we have 14, 58, and then if we add the dollar 35 for the war nickel, we have 15, 93, 60, but that's only silver melt value. 90% is actually going for around $20 per dollar, so to be more fair, we'll do 20 times 0.85, and then we will add like $1.50 for the war nickel, just to be fair. Uh, so let's say this set all in is $19, that's at retail. Uh, so we got $19 on that set right there. And that is what we have. So let's go ahead and add everything up and see what we actually have in value. All right, so I went through all the numbers and let's start with the silver. So we had a total of eight silver coins, a Canadian, we had two dimes, a 40% Kennedy, a war nickel, and then a mercury dime walker and a Washington 90% silver quarter. All together, if you were to melt our silver down and refine it into pure silver, we have 1.05 ounces. So it is over an ounce but not by much. It comes out to around $25.20 in silver value today. Overall, for the retail value of the entire pack, we had $42.60. Now remember, I was $55 all in. That means I lost around $12.40 overall for the entire pack. As far as not being disappointed, like the listing said, I'm not super disappointed because I know when I buy these things that I'm not gonna get all of my money back. And this is certainly more silver than I see in a lot of the online mystery packs. So. It's not so bad. And additionally, as a YouTuber, I think you guys know this, I will get some of my money back just on the ad revenue from this video. So I'm not going to take a loss, but I would not recommend this pack. If someone asked me, hey, is there a pack you would recommend? Would it be this one? I would say no. That being said, you guys probably watching this far into the video are wondering what the listing is. 
And I'll remind you that, as I said a while back, we no longer advertise who our mystery pack listers are because one, if it's a really bad pack, people go and attack them without any firsthand experience themselves. They just do it based off of my video, which I don't think is right. And two, if it's a really good pack, people accuse me in the comments of advertising for them or they say, oh, it's a better pack because they knew they were sending it to you and they wanted it to look good on camera. So you know what? We'll keep doing mystery packs, but I just won't say who it's from. And uh, you know what? We can still have fun doing them. At least that's how I feel about it. So let me know down in the comments if you guys like this video, if you want to see more. I know I haven't done one in a while and we will try and continue doing them in the future. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't seen this video up above, make sure you watch it right now. It's a great one. Additionally, don't forget to like and subscribe like I said earlier. And thank you guys so much for being here and have a great rest of your day.